Welcome back to Taival Outdoors. My name is Joel. This is Rokka, my ten and a half months old Alaskan Malamute puppy. And today we are celebrating Finnish Nature Day by spending the night outdoors, doing a bit of camping in a teepee or a pyramid style tent, baking some bannock bread and just relaxing, enjoying the evening. Welcome along. Not much of hiking today. I have this place pre-scouted. It might look like I have everything in the kitchen sink with me, but in reality, if I would swap this tent to my tarp and this sleeping pad to my inflatable sleeping pad and full trangia kit to my normal cooking kit, I could fit this stuff inside of this backpack. So there really isn't that much gear with me. It just looks like that because there's a lot of bulk. But we are here. I will attach this guy to a tree and then show you all what we have here to work with. It's a bit different kind of spot than where I'm usually in. <laughs> but it should be, should be good. Now, as I said, it's the Finnish Nature Day. And since 2016, I believe, it has also been a day when there's a nationwide kind of event or a challenge, if you will, called Nuku Yö Ulkona, which translates roughly to sleep a night outside. And originally the purpose of that event was to just encourage Finns to go outside and sleep at least at one night outdoors every year. And as a part of that sort of at least one night mentality, uh, the point was also that you don't have to go in to the wilderness and drive hours and hours to get somewhere in the middle of the forest. But instead you can do it wherever you want, even, you know, sleeping in your own yard. And indeed my current camping spot is as close to urban camping that I've ever done, but it's not really urban. But if you can see, maybe you can, maybe you can't, but there in the distance, there's a couple of roads, not super busy, but they're far away enough so that the road noise doesn't bother us. And maybe in some other countries, this could be called stealth camping, but because we're in Finland, we have every man's rights. Everyone can camp pretty much anywhere they want. So this is not stealth camping. This is just camping with a dog. So keeping it simple. But like I promised, I show you guys what I have to deal with. So this all open area around is pretty nice because it means that I can get all the evening sun. Sun sets roughly the, that direction, so we should have plenty of light throughout this night. But the problem, of course, is that because we are on top of these rocks, this rock face, whew, I cannot set up my tent here because it is not a freestanding tent, it's a TP tent, and I need to stake it down. And in fact, Originally, my plan was to sleep here. I still think this is a really cool spot under these few spruce trees. Might have to do that one later during some other day. But I wanted to take the TP tent or pyramid tent whatever would be the proper name for it. Mini Peak XL, because I need to train my dog to sleep in it with me. And in fact, I have the winter inner tent in there as well. Very um, well, not super ventilated winter inner tent, but I have to train him to get used to it before our next big trips to Lapland and such where the temperatures are going to drop and uh, where we're actually going to need the inner. But now I will just have to find a good spot and set up the tent first.
well it took a while to find a spot that isn't too rocky and has enough soil so I can put down the stakes but it's a bit slanted but that's fine in many ways it's easier at least for me to sleep in a bit of an angle so the head is a bit higher up than my feet but here's the inner tent and as you can see it's completely solid except these small mesh panels up here and sadly although the one of the main reasons why I bought this tent was to give some type of a bug protection for the dog during summer months. So I got this, it came with this inner tent that's uh, ready for winter use. And Lux also sells this tent with a uh, summer inner. And I asked and turns out they don't sell that summer inner separately. So. That's why I have this <laughs> winter inner now, which is has these quite solid walls, only small mesh panels here. Of course, the summer inner would have mm -hmm. a lot more mesh, but well, I'm not going to sit inside there during this afternoon or evening. It's just for sleeping, but all in all, there is a lot of room inside here. So the question is not so much if I can fit inside there with the dog, but the question is how the dog will take it. Anyway, I will leave this whole thing here now. I think whew, we both need a drink. The main downside of this location is that there's not a water source nearby, so I had to bring three liters of water with me. And that has to last for myself and the dog for this evening. And of course, tomorrow morning as well. Important to get that morning coffee, morning porridge and morning food for him. All requires quite a bit of water, so I need to ration myself this evening. I just finished filming a video of my sleep system, kind of a modern day ranger roll setup, if you will. That's what I have with me tonight, but to be frank, it's been roughly plus 10 up to plus 15 this whole week, raining mostly, and I packed my gear accordingly. And for some reason today, I'm guessing it's close to plus 20. So the setup that I have is most likely a bit of an overkill, but I'll try to make it work. So as I mentioned, the plan is to bake some bread and or bannock bread as it's fashionably called. I have my dry ingredients already mixed up, pre-made at home. This whole recipe, if you can call it that, is borrowed or, or taken from Karu Survival. So there's my dry ingredients. Let's add a bit of a bit of water and almost forgot the main ingredient. Some beef jerky from Kuivali Hakundi, obviously the best in Finland. I'm using the garlic variant because I'm a big fan of garlic, of course, and this way it gets a bit more uh, a bit more flavor into this whole thing. Let's put the limiter on for now. Let's see if we can Flip this bad boy. Woo! There we go. Feet burned. Not bad, not terrible. While this is still getting prepared, I think I could start making rest of our dinner. It's not much, but it's something. 
bit of cheese, one quite hefty garlic, <laughs> and some onions, or one onion to be exact. Hey! Hey! Kuorita aikaan. And to go with beef jerky, garlic bread, and garlic beer sausage, seasoned with garlic and pepper. Let's slice and dice this one in there as well. This is now starting to look quite decent. Unfortunately, my cheese had gone so soft that it's now almost like butter, but I think that's fine. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Look at that. Unfortunately, I don't have any beer with me, so both of us have to now stay up for just water. But Seems like that's good enough. I know that I would get a lot of angry comments if Rokka wouldn't get his share. Mm -hmm. Not bad, eh? Or? What a bad way of spending the Finnish Nature Day. I posted a poll this week, a couple of days back, to my channel asking how many of you are going to spend a night outdoors this weekend. And I think roughly 75% of you, last time I checked, said that you are going to spend the night outdoors in one way or another this weekend. And if you did, please let me know down in the comments. I would like to hear. Where did you go? Did you go all the way to the wilderness or something like that? Maybe national park? Or did you stay close to home? Mm. It's kind of hard to eat when that face is looking at you. We're on a bit of an evening walk after the dinner. There's our shelter. You can just about see it, I think. Bit of a drop here. Do you think we did this evening walk because turns out there's someone's <laughs> well beer bottle. Not gonna say what brand because I'm sure that will get flagged by YouTube. But let's bring this one out of the forest. Right, so we are about to turn in for the night. I will leave the doors open just to maximize the airflow. It's a bit over eight o'clock in the evening, so not that much, but we are just getting there and start settling in and see how everything works out for us. So here we are. I took off the poncho that I used as a bivy bag. I'm just going to use this. As blanket now, this um, to go systems hybrid field blanket, and of course GoPro does give a bit of an illusion that this space is bigger than it is. I think GoPro has four or five different lenses, and I'm actually using the 
second narrowest so the second closest to sort of the real image and um but still i mean we can definitely fit in here Rocco is still a bit baffled like why are we <laughs> why are, why am i talking and why are we here but yeah i you can definitely feel that this this place is quite quite a lot warmer than the outside air such a shame that Lux Outdoor doesn't sell the summer version of this. Have to get him used to this inner tent sooner or later. And this is probably the last overnighter we do before we go to Lapland then in September. So let's see how it goes. I'll report back to you guys in the morning. <sighs> Six forty seven, fifteen and a half degrees inside. <sighs> All right. Picked up again a few berries for the morning porridge. It has been quite a bad year for bilberries, but at least the lingonberries seem to be coming up nicely. I think we have some deer circling us. Heard some noise from back there. It's coming up somewhere behind our shelter. I figured that now is a good time to talk a bit about these guys. Freedom Seekers Coffee. Those of you who watched my previous video, bikepacking the Saimaa Archipelago route, in it I had my first sips of this coffee and it was kind of a sample pack that the guy sent me. A bit more for the road. Now, by the time this video comes out, hopefully around September 1st, these guys have launched their website, and their business, freedomseekerscoffee.com. From here on now, they will be fueling my own adventures. I will be having their coffee on my trips. And I highly encourage you guys to check them out. It's a small Finnish startup and as it says there on the tin, Freedom Seekers is a community of ambitious people aspiring to become better every day through passion, adventure and integrity. Words to live by definitely and most importantly, good coffee to live by. But that's it, I will leave links down in the description to Freedom Seekers coffee. So next time you run out of coffee, instead of getting the same old bulk coffee from the store, Give Freedom Seekers a chance. After Rocca calmed down, which happened fairly quickly once I put down the camera, uh, the night went pretty well. We both slept quite good, and although he slept half of the time on top of me, <laughs> more or less, I think in the end it was a positive experience for both and that's always important when teaching new things for the dog. So I have now no doubts in my mind when heading out to a that bit longer trip soon, in three weeks, that we can both sleep inside that smaller inner tent. And just to be clear, I'm fully aware that he doesn't need the additional warmth of necessarily even the protection of the inner tent. But it's good to teach him that before winter, if I'm ever about to buy a small titanium stove for that tent, because I don't want the dog then staying in the same space as the stove during the night. So better to have him by my side and then the stove in the. Uh, the other 
<laughs> other room of the tent. Most important meal of the day. Morning coffee. Looking pretty damn fine. Cheers. Hmm. I know that coffee tastes always great when you have it outdoors first thing in the morning after waking up under a tarp or under the stars for that matter. But you can still go to the next level if you actually use good proper coffee like Freedom Seekers coffee. What? Ei ole kahvia nyt sulla. Ihan kohta. Ihan kohta. Ihan kohta. His breakfast is already there coming up, so that's why he's a bit anxious. And so the time has come. We start to head back home. Nice little overnight trip again. Done. Dog learned some new tricks. As did I again. Learned how to how to do this outdoor stuff with a dog. It's not as straightforward maybe as it seems. But it's not bad by any means. That's why we got this dog. So I could have a bit of a companionship. And I go on these trips. But anyway, thanks for watching. Let me know down in the comments if you stayed outdoors this weekend. Again, a bit delayed, but happy Finnish Nature Day for everyone. My name is Joel. That's Rokka. You've been watching Taival Outdoors. I will see you all in the next one.